Data scientists are accustomed to work on the command line as this provides maximum flexibility and power for their needs. In this video, we will first show some of the command line usage of our tools and then later move on to higher level interfaces. Most of the tools we have developed are available in our La Machine distribution. La Machine is a software distribution of all kinds of natural language processing software and it is easy to install on a wide variety of machines. This enables people to run our software at home or at their data center. It is what we will use in, in our example. We activate our La Machine environment and subsequently we can use all the tools that are available in. Let's start by showing our tokenizer Ucto. First, we create a small text file with an example sentence. The example sentence is De stad Amsterdam is the hoofdstad van Nederland, maar de regering zit in Den Haag. A small Dutch sentence which we can use for processing. We invoke our tokenizer Ucto, tell it that our input language is Dutch, and we run it on our text file. The tokenizer will then split punctuation from the rest of the words. The next tool I would like to demonstrate is our most popular tool, Frog. Frog is a suite of all kinds of uh, technologies for linguistic enrichment of your text. It can do part of speech tagging, named entity recognition, dependency parsing, shallow parsing, um, morphological analysis and various other things. It can also do tokenization using Acto built-in. We can invoke Frog on our example document and tell it to output to an XML document in the folio format. The folio format is ideal for storing all kinds of linguistic annotations. If we run Frog on our document, we see that it's computing for a while and then computes all kinds of linguistic annotations on our text. It has outputted the linguistic annotations here, but also in the folio document. Taking a look at our folio document, we see the following. A very verbose XML file containing all kinds of linguistic annotations. Many of our tools use this folio format. It can be used to store all kinds of linguistic annotations and the idea is to combine them all in a single file format so that all tools know what to expect. Multiple corpora have been delivered in this format such as the Sonar Corpus, the Basilex Corpus as well as Nederlab. There is a wide variety of tooling available to work with folia. For example, we have the Folia Validator, which checks if your Folia document is an actual valid Folia document. In this case it is, as we could expect. We can convert our Folia document to uh, HTML for better visualization, because looking at the XML as we just did is not very useful for a human end user. Once we convert our document to HTML, we can just visualize it in a browser. Here we see a visualization of the folio document we have created. It provides a simple interface and you can hover over the words to see the associated linguistic annotations. Another available tool for folia is a folia query tool which allows you to compute simple queries on your document. For example, in this case, we want to select all the named entities. And it gives us an XML output containing only the named entities. Optionally, we can also do this in other formats. There is a Python library available to allow every data scientist to work with Folia from their Python scripts. I've prepared a simple Python script as follows. It loads in the Folia library, loads the example document we have created, and then just iterates over the words, prints the text of the word along with the part of speech text and the lemma. If we run this example script, we see the following output. Although we have only shown us simple examples for now, there is a lot of power in this library and in the tooling in general. With it, you can do a lot of things. Such a low-level research environment as offered by La Machine in this way is not suited for everybody. The wider research community might benefit from more graphical interfaces. This will be the second part of my demonstration. At the Center of Language and Speech Technology, we offer a web service portal that makes lots of our tools accessible as web services and as web applications for end users. This provides a simpler and higher level interface that can be accessed simply from the user's browser. We see a list of available tools. Acto, the tokenizer we demonstrated in the earlier part, 
shows here as well, as well as Frog, and lots of other software. Falco is software for Dutch spelling correction. Ursetter is a Frisian Dutch Dutch Frisian machine translation system. T-Scan is a Dutch text analytics tool for readability prediction. Colibri Core is a tool that is suitable for computing statistics and engram lists of uh, text corpora. You see a wide variety of tools that can be accessed as web services, including also speech recognition projects such as Spreek to Schrijf for Dutch Parliament and automatic transcription of oral history interviews. These tools have been made possible using the software CLAM. CLAM is software that turns uh, your command line tools into RESTful web services as well as, uh, as, well as web applications. We begin again with an example of Frog. You first need to register on the site by applying for a free account. You can then click the web service link, enter your credentials, and you will be presented the generic interface for the tool. You can start a project by entering a project name and clicking the Create Project button. Subsequently, you can upload your input files for the project. In this case, we upload our example file from before. Or rather, we just type the text here. We indicate that this is a text document. And we add it to our input files. Now we can invoke frog just as we did on the command line. We can skip certain modules, but in this case, we just do everything frog has to offer. We start the process, the system will be running, at which time you can even abandon your computer or shut it down. It will even remain running in the background when you come back. As you see, it takes a bit of time, but eventually the result gets there and we have three output files. The file we are interested in is again the, the folio document. We can open this folio document by simply clicking it. And we will see the same viewer we saw before. And actually, I see we, I made a typo in the input because I forgot a D. <laughs> anyway, this is the same text as we saw before and the same, uh, the same linguistic annotations have been applied. But you see how it can be accessed through the interface. One of the more powerful features though is that you can directly open this output in a tool called FLAT. FLAT is the Folia Linguistic Annotation tool. It enables you to uh, edit, view and edit all kinds of Folia documents. So it is a fully fledged web-based annotation environment. We click open in FLAT and we will be redirected to FLAT. Here we see again the text of our document inside the FLAT tool in this case. We can hover over the words and see the specific linguistic annotations. Now this tool is far more powerful than the, the visualization we saw before. We can select a certain annotation focus, for example, such as part of speech text. We can select the entities. This is not just a viewer, but it is also an editor. So you can click words to edit them once you go to the editor mode. Say we select part of speech again. It is a very powerful interface that allows you to change all kinds of linguistic annotations. The interface offers various kinds of, annot of annotation uh, views. For example, now we have visualized the lemmas in top of the on top of the words. We can also enable more things to show the part of speech text, or even the dependency relations between, between the different words. When you make any annotations, it will the, the tool will log exactly who annotated what and at what time. So annotator information is preserved carefully. You can also associate confidence values with annotations to show the level of confidence you have in your own annotation. So in conclusion, we have a lot of lots of tools available and we would like to encourage everybody to play around with the tools and to see if it, they, they uh, can be used in your research.